Yeah. All right. Are you yeah. Yeah. having trouble? Yes, remember, uh, we talked about, well, first of all, I, you know, I loved Road Warrior, and we talked mm-hmm. about that, how the first two minutes I thought I was going to have to leave, and then I got hooked and loved yes. it. <laughs> and then, okay. Three, two, one, and action. Well, Mel, you have to forgive us. We were just uh, reminiscing a little bit about when uh, George was in Dallas for Road Warrior, mm-hmm. a movie which I enjoyed very much. And I have to tell you that I enjoyed equally as much, maybe more. I, I haven't decided yet. But anyway, I really do like Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. It's a big, uh, wonderful action Thanks. adventure. Mm-hmm. But, you know, Mel, I- I'll start with you. The whole time I was sitting there enjoying the film, I got to thinking, now, really, I wonder how this happened. Here you are, you know, you're uh, being pulled through the dust and the, the <laughs> sand, and, and then you're down there wallowing with the pigs it, up to your eyeballs in piggy-doo. And, yeah. <laughs> I mean, and thinking, the pigs didn't mind either. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm thinking, now, what happened? Did George take him out and get him drunk and get him to sign the contract? <laughs> <laughs> or how? <clears throat> no, no actor in his right mind would volunteer to yeah. do this. Well, actually, he got me drunk on the idea. Which I thought was a really good idea. It's an original, um, very clever, good idea, and it it, it uh, made that particular character who I'd done twice before. It gave him more dimensions and more places to go, and I, I think it's a it's a superior effort to the last two films, which is a a, re- a good reason to do something. Piggy do notwithstanding, huh? Absolutely. Well, it was <laughs> miserable at the time, but. I can live with anything. Really. But they're tough pictures for actors to do. I mean, you, we don't realise, and you, and you don't realise at the time when you think back on all the things that Mel had to do. I mean, freezing cold weather, incredibly hot weather, and <laughs> piggy do, and <laughs> Thunderdome, which Mel did piggy most do. of that stunts with that Thunderdome fight where they were strung in the, with those sort of rubber bands and flying across that Thunderdome. Yes, that is, I think, George and Mel, one of the most exciting scenes I have ever seen on film. Uh, it's, it's unlike anything I've ever seen. But, Mel, you did a lot of that. It, it looked like you weren't doubled through, you know, throughout the whole thing. There was, some, there was some doubling, for sure. But, you know, I mean, they can't throw me away. Uh, but whenever required to do anything in the film like that, there's, always, there's a really good team that they hired, nothing, no one ever got injured, and they leave a very small margin for accident. So that I was in very good hands if I needed to do anything like that. But what was it like <clears> for <throat> you to be catapulted from one side to oh, the other? Fun. Was it? Yeah, that's an amazing feeling. It's like, uh, it's aerobic, I guess. It's a, um, 18 foot jumps and things like that. It just feels fantastic. It's like flying. The man is a little daft, George. Yeah. He's a little well, daft. There's something exciting. It's like a roller coaster ride, you yeah. see, because it's, it, there's something a little fear involved because you could hit those. You could hit the bars if the person, if, if you didn't trust the person, you'd really be terrified. But I, I did trust the crew that were handling the whole thing. We found with Mel that this, even though the stunt doubles were very, very good, at first of all he started off doing just a few things, and each each night we kept on saying, "Well, Mel should do this." Mel, and he was ending up doing the really elaborate. So he he got a better hang of it. Than the stunt guys. <laughs> to you. So uh, he, uh, it, he, he got some minor abrasions and bumps and bruises and stuff, but yes. it's very exhausting too. Yeah. But uh, it was much better for the film too. But for too, anything really, really dangerous, I am not going to do anything that I think is, you know, too much. And they, the other guy was great. I mean, he was good, and he did the he did the heavy stuff, the really heavy stuff. George, let's go back just for a little bit to Mad Max 1. Now, uh, the figure I've heard quoted is $300,000 for Mad Max 1. $380,000. $80,000, all right. Then Road Warrior was how much? It was around about 4 or $5 million. And at that time, wasn't it the most expensive film ever made yeah. in Australia? Yeah. Okay, now this one is how much? Oh, uh, this is almost triple that. So for Australia, it's very expensive. Over 12? Oh, yeah. So uh, I don't know what to translate to American dollars. It's sort of close, but it's, it, 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 it was an expensive film because uh, we had so much to do in it. Uh, in fact, the biggest problem was cramming all that information into the hundred or so minutes that we had. This one seems less violent than Road Warrior. Now, I've heard that Warner Brothers asked you to make some cuts. Was it, uh, it to do with the violence? No, no. We had... Um, 
No, no, Warner Brothers uh, were very good. They didn't... We, because the story was dealing with children, it naturally went in that direction. There wasn't a conscious decision, oh, let's cut down on the violence. It was just... A, because the children are in the story, it, you, it, it just sort of went in that direction. It was a natural flow. Um, the cuts that we made to the film were just cuts after a test screening. We, unfortunately, we had to rush the film out. We literally were working night and day, and I didn't see the film um, uh, complete until we had a test screening, and uh, we made some cuts for pace. But there was never any conscious attempt to say, let's cut down the violence, we've got too much flack on Road Warrior. Um, that, that wasn't the case. It was just the nature of the story. It's a, I think it's a more inspirational story, and it just didn't sit right to be more violent. Now, um, going back again to Mad Max 1, what did you have to pay Mel for Mad Max 1? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Because I can't remember that. <laughs> uh, I mean, it, it's, not, it three it's, bags not, of peanuts it's not good to quote figures, but I can tell you it. <laughs> I would say that we spent more on paper cups on this film than what we had to pay for Mel <laughs> on that picture. It, would, it really was, I'm being serious. Um, but then with the film was so low, I mean, none of yeah, us were paid very got. much. And the, the, the budget of the film was so low. We even had to borrow a shoestring. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> and, and what are you paying him this time? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think the paper cups would have to be sort of... Paper gold. cups, chicken feet, absolutely. A lot more paper cups. <laughs> <laughs> Mel Gibson, the only actor I know who works for paper cups. <laughs> Now, when you look at this one, are you more pleased with this one or about the same, or, you know, how, how are you looking at it? Yeah, I think the good thing about these films is, although it's a trilogy, uh, it wasn't intended to be, and that they made each film for itself, and that they all stand as individual efforts, and they're all very different. Um, this one takes it into a new area, so it's a progression from the other two. Uh, in some ways, it is better, I think. Yeah, All right, now, better. Mel, level with me just for a second here. Forget George is there. Okay. okay, was there ever a day on the set and out there in the heat or the cold or the dust or the piggy do or whatever when yes. you said, I'm going to kill George Miller? Yes, there was. <laughs> it's true. I thought, I'll kill him. <laughs> but you can't. He's too much of a nice fella. <laughs> <laughs> and besides, he might want to do Mad Max 4. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> no, no. Would you, do, the, would you do another? Depends on the... On, on what kind of story they had in mind, if it was worth telling, I suppose. And uh, how many paper cups they were willing oh, to Oh, many more paper cups. <laughs> okay. I'd want a factory of paper cups. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you both are, are great fun. Mel, I enjoyed you very, very much. Thank you. It was just wonderful fun. George, good to see you again. Thank you. And I just think you've got a terrific hit on your hands. I really do. That's good. Good. Best yeah, of luck great. to both of you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks very much for the last interview. <laughs> Uh, uh, wait, just just one second. Let me see. I can't get all of them. Let me see. Okay. Um. Three, two, one, and action. Was there ever a time, Mel, though, when you said, I am just going to kill George Miller? The man is daft, isn't he? Going back to the first Mad Max, how much did that one cost? And this film, how much was it? How much did you have to pay Mel to do this one? Okay, I better do reactions now. You still got sound? Okay. Oh, okay, let it go, let it go, okay. <laughs> <laughs>